A North Central College professor has taken the election spirit to the page, authoring a new book about an impactful suffragette. Naperville News 17's Evan Summers has more with Zachary Michael Jack. Rosalie Gardner-Jones was dubbed a general by many, leading hundreds of troops in the fight for women's voting rights. Rosalie Gardner-Jones liked the idea of boots on the ground. She liked the idea of uh, kind of winning the, the battle for hearts and minds, and she believed that to do that, you would need to do something dramatic. Jones literally put her boots to the ground, organizing a march from Manhattan to Albany, New York, all in the name of women's voting rights. Dubbed the suffrage hike of 1912, around 200 women trekked 175 miles in 13 days at the end of December. I have yet to, to find a, a women's rights, equal rights march of this length and this duration in American history up to this point. So this is really, really um, significant, although it's mostly been forgotten. But Zachary Michael Jack refused to let it be forgotten, highlighting the historic journey in his newest book, March of the Suffragettes, Rosalie Gardner-Jones and the March for Voting Rights. I would say that the first thing to know is it's not a textbook, it's a, it's a narrative. The second thing I, I guess I would say is that it's a verb, you know, it's, it's the march to voting rights, so that it's not a book of stasis. It's not a, a, a book about people talking and thinking about things. It's really a book about people doing things. A march with an impact that stretches through history. And here we are finally with uh, a woman candidate from a major party and it took us this long to get there. So um, I think that this story is really, really kind of ripe for the telling and important for people to know. It took Jack a few years to tell this story, as he is also an associate professor of English at North Central College. When I am teaching writing and also kind of concurrently working on a book, I, I find myself sometimes in that way that we all do, you know, having that disassociative, disembodied experience where I'm, I'm listening to myself, advising them, and I'm asking myself, you know, are you really taking your own advice? Jack has written over 20 books and is currently working on a play. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Evan Summers. The American Booksellers Association named this book one of the 2016 best books for young readers in the teen nonfiction category.